Today's topic, botulism. Botulism is a disease caused by the bacterium scientifically known as Clostridium botulinum. Botulism food poisoning occurs when a toxin produced by the bacteria is consumed in improperly preserved foods. The disease is caused by a potent neurotoxin produced by the bacteria. It manifests as abdominal cramping, double or blurred vision, difficulty breathing, muscle weakness, and other serious symptoms. Botulism is not spread from person to person. Symptoms of botulism food poisoning include Abnormal pupil size or reactivity to light Abdominal pain or cramping Blurred or double vision Difficulty breathing Difficulty swallowing and speaking Dry mouth Nausea with or without vomiting Paralysis, on both sides of the body Weakness, on both sides of the body what causes botulism food poisoning? Clostridium botulinum is found in soil and untreated water. The bacteria create spores that subsist in incorrectly preserved or canned food, where they lead to the presence of bacteria that produce the botulinum toxin. Botulism food poisoning commonly occurs when the toxin is ingested. Ingesting even minute quantities can cause severe poisoning. The foods most commonly known to cause botulism food poisoning are smoked or raw fish, cured pork and ham, honey or corn syrup, and home canned vegetables. The disease has also occurred from oil infused with garlic and baked potatoes. In infants, the most common causes are exposure to contaminated soil and eating contaminated honey. How is botulism food poisoning treated? Botulinum antitoxin in injected form is the mainstay of treatment for botulism food poisoning in adults. Infants are usually treated intravenously with immune globulin. If the patient experiences breathing difficulty, hospitalization is required to establish a clear airway and provide ventilator support. A tube may be inserted through the patient's mouth or nose or into the windpipe to provide an airway for oxygen. A breathing machine may be needed. Intravenous fluids are commonly prescribed if swallowing difficulty prevents adequate fluid intake. If the patient is unable to eat, a feeding tube may be inserted in the nose to provide nutrients. This